Welcome to the part 1 of building testimonial. This is the wireframe of testimonial section. It has the image of the person and a title and paragraph and then slider. This will be the final version after adding the HTML markup and also applying the CSS. Let us get started adding HTML markup for this section. In previous videos, we added the header section and also we added the about us section. Let me show the result at this point. We have a header with background image and we have about us section. Let us add the testimonial section after the about us section. We'll start adding comment for the testimonial and then I will add section with class testimonial and inside that we need an overlay div class of testimonial overlay and inside this overlay we will write bootstrap framework container class and inside the container we need a row which will be with class row and inside the row we need a column of 12 md like class and column medium 12 and inside that we will write markup of testimonial before I add further HTML markup I need to explain what I am going to add in this 12 column grid we will be need a component from bootstrap framework which is carousel we will be using this carousel you can see for testimonials so we already have a carousel in our bootstrap framework we can take advantage of this and this is the HTML markup for writing it let us write it I will start adding the div class with class carousel slide exactly like this let me copy it this one and I will exactly paste it here so we don't make the mistake and inside this div we need to add some indicators and order list with class with class of carousel indicator let me copy it all let me copy all of the order list here and then I will apply it here so these would be the indicators like these whole circles and Let us say the target element would be carousel testimonial and this will be also the ID for this div. Let me also replace carousel testimonial data target for slide 
2 and for slide 3 okay moving forward now let us add wrapper for slides inside that we have a div with clause Arrow, cell, inner, let us add the first item, first testimonial and a div for this with class item, let us say the first will be active and with text center. And the image of person would be images. Let us say client first and with alt testimonial. And after that, I think we also need class with center block it will center align the image this is the class from the bootstrap okay moving forward let us add div with class of testimonial testimonial caption This will be the description of the testimonial like h2 be used for the name and let us say h4 with span inside it will be used for like senior for this des designation and with comma I will say the company name let us add some demi content I will open the demi content file and will copy it from here and paste it here okay let us copy this item one HTML markup for the rest of the two. This will become two, and I will remove the active state, and this will become client two, client two, and the name for this would be rolls poll, and with designation. marketing manager with company of Risco and the same way I will paste it for the third and the client will be third and this time let us change the name to Jimso and designation of assistant manager with the comp company name let us see the result in the browser okay now it is showing the two testimonials and the third one is coming like this way I think we need to add the CSS and it will fix this okay we have carousel inner inside that we have item 1 and the item 1 is with the active state and inside that we have item 2 and we have item 3 also remove active state from 
item 3 let us see the result again in a browser okay there are white circles we will apply CSS to these indicators in the next video do you see now we have our testimonials and in the next video I will be adding CSS to this testimonial section so this was the HTML markup we wrote for the testimonial section in the previous video and this was the result of HTML markup for the testimonial let us add CSS to the style.css for testimonial part this will be testimonial let us add some CSS to the main testimonial section we need to add a background image image to the testimonial section and it is images slash testimonial dash pg dot jpeg let us see the result in the browser okay now we have a big background image let us add some more css to this element like background attachment should be fixed not scrolled and background repeat should be no repeat and background size should be cover so it will almost cover the testimonial element let us apply the background size for the other browsers like for Mozilla like for Opera and for WebKit and okay let us add the background positioning to also 50% and 50% okay almost looking good moving forward let us add CSS to testimonial overlay this is the same way I will add testimonial overlay like we added in the header section background color would be RGBA with 31 31 and 31 dot 75 for transparency and let us add some padding top of 80 pixel and padding bottom of also 80 pixels so it can create the white space around it now we have space and you can see the background image is fixed and it is almost covering the testimonial area okay moving forward let us add CSS to these indicators carousel indicators let, let us push it down like uh, with like with the bottom of minus 8 pixel okay let us say 10 
okay i think we need to add margin to the p element okay moving forward we have an image in the item element so i will copy this class carousel inner inside that we have item class inside that we have image tag and let us make some border so it, it can look in a circle of two pixel solid of uh, color would be one two nine cf three with border radius of 50 percent and let us add some padding around it with three pixel you see now the image is in a circle this is because of the border radius and border let us apply some CSS to the caption area we have testimonial caption class and inside that I think let us first add CSS to the testimonial caption with padding of bottom so it will create some space at the bottom let me see in the chrome developer tool so it is testimonial caption it need a dot here and let me see it again now it looks much better okay moving forward in the testimonial caption we have a heading of h2 the color for this should be 129cf3 and the text transform should be uppercase and font weight should be 900 with font size of uh, 30 pixel let us also add some margin top of 25 pixel okay, let us add some CSS to this designation and company I think this is the h2 element h4 element this is the h4 element and we'll copy it and paste it for h4 i think we only need to make it with color of 129cf3 let us see the result in the browser okay looking fine Okay, think everything looks fine. This is not looking fine, I think. Let me check it in browser. Okay, there is some invalid CSS. The font width should be 900, non, not 900 pixel. Now it is looking fine. Okay, moving forward, let us apply some CSS to this paragraph. And before I apply some CSS to this paragraph, we have a span inside H4. Span. The color for that should be 
d8 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 and the font style should be italic italic and the font weight should be 300 pixel let us see the result in the browser okay yes now it is looking fine okay moving forward let us apply css to the paragraph element inside the testimonial caption we have p tag and the color for this should be d8 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 and the font size for this should be 18 pixel with line height of 27 pixel with padding top of 50 pixel i think that is enough for this paragraph okay i think everything looks fine the background image is on the place and it is also fixed and uh, the slider carousel is working fine okay we have added the header section about us section and the testimonial section and i think everything looks good at this point okay looks good in the next videos i will be adding a feature section after the testimonial see you there